We've just finished installing 35 solar panels and two Tesla Powerwall 3s at this house behind me. Now the special part about this project is that 18 of the panels are actually wall mounted. So how does the mounting system actually work? Well it's very straightforward and it's very similar to an on-roof system. You've just got rails that run horizontally across the wall, uh, two or three rails per panel, and then they are fixed into the wall using multi-monty screws. The only components that go into it are the screws, the rails, the panels, and then the clamps which hold the panels to the rails. It's that simple. So let me talk you through the specification. Uh, we've got ICO 470 watt panels, very efficient. Uh, they're 23.1% efficient, some of the best panels you can get. We've got six of them on this wall, 12 on that wall. On that roof up there, we've got six, and then on the roof behind it, we've got 11. There are also two Tesla Powerwall 3s at the bottom of this scaffolding over here. So we've got two Tesla Powerwall 3s. We got quite lucky with the DNO application. Uh, UK Power Networks allows 16 kilowatts total generation, limited to seven kilowatts export, which means that we've limited each Powerwall to eight kilowatt inverter rating, allowing us that that's going to be more than enough to deal with all the solar and to deal with the house's demand. Um, we have actually taken advantage of all six MPPTs. The panels on this wall are split into two strings. That wall is another string. And then the panels on that top roof up there are two strings as well. And on the west roof is another string, all feeding back to the two Powell threes. So how much do wall mounted solar panels actually generate? Well, if you have a perfect south facing roof pitched at 38 degrees, the solar panels on that will generate about 985 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak. That's the optimal system. A wall mounted equivalent, perfectly south facing, but the panels are pitched at 90 degrees, that would generate about 695 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak. So it's about 30% less. If you have a perfectly north facing system pitched at 38 degrees on a roof, that's gonna be a lot worse than the south facing wall mounted panels. A north facing system will generate about 517 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak. So how much will this system actually generate? Well, the big roof behind me should generate about 672 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak. It's not quite hitting the max 695 because it's about 32 degrees off south. The smaller wall with six panels, we're expecting to get 599 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak, and that's 62 degrees off south. Now the six panels that are actually on the roof, pitched at about 22 degrees, um, they should be generating about 882 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak. So you've got a good comparison there. The wall panels will generate about 35, 40% less than the pitch roof panels.